Taylor. Uh, hey, Bobby. Wow. Uh, you look great. Thanks. Uh, if I got the right... You're here to see Jack. Right. Jackie! It's Mr. Day. I hope I'm not too late or early or... We've been up a while. Oh, uh, okay. You know, hey, it's great uh, having you back in class. Did you like my script? Yeah, I did. It's, uh, uh, it's on the top of the pile. I'm going to get to it tonight. Got to go. Come on in. Later, Jackie. You coming back here? I have such an awesome audition today. <laughs> really? Lips are sealed, mom's the word. Too big to talk about, don't want to jinx it. Well, uh, I'll put it on my lucky keychain. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go. Go, go, go. Later! I'll be right there, boss. Yeah, sure thing. I figured, you know, you uh, would wait after class tonight, you know, if you read my screenplay. Hey, you probably didn't, why would you? It's in the bank. Cola! You mind if I grab a glass? Yeah, sure, help yourself. Boy, I drink this stuff like it's going out of style. Now, what film did Pacino say that in? He was talking about uh, Java. Coffee? Oh. Whatever happened to that guy? Is he still in the business? Hit me again? I mean, I haven't seen him since The Godfather. Uh, yeah? He's made a few films since The Godfather. I think you're the most uninformed screenwriter I've ever met. 
I've been working for a living, boss. You gotta cut me some slack. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But I guess you were trying to be the early bird got the worm. But me? I was fucking all night. Guess you just couldn't help yourself. I guess you couldn't help yourself either. Yeah. She's awesome, huh? She can't write worth a shit. <laughs> Who cares? All right, you know what? You're dead on, Jack. You caught me dead to rights. Uh, I came here to talk to you about your script before class tonight. To see you show up when there's nobody around but you and the street cleaners. You must have really wanted to talk to me about my script. I do. But before I say anything... You want to take a Stephen Worthy? <laughs> Whoa, wow. Wouldn't that be the perfect uh, Dias ex machina? Bobby Blue Day comes down from heaven to deliver your script to none other than Stephen Worthy. I mean, why not? I mean, if it's good enough. Is it good enough? How do you know I even know him? Well, you mentioned the guy in like every freaking class, man. Class, let me cut 40 minutes and tell you about the time I was talking story in the Apache Sweat Lodge with Stephen Worthy. Okay, okay, pretty cool though. Absolutely fucking cool. I love your Hollywood stories, man. You, you knew everybody. You know, you used to surf with Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> Listen, I didn't know Chaplin, all right? He was a little before my time. Yeah, but you used to surf with Stephen Worthy. He didn't surf. He's the one that told me to stop drinking. All right, and did you? Oh, not till about two years later. But the point is, I can get to him. You're so cool. I finished your book, you know, How to Make a Perfect Script Better. Loved it. And what'd you learn? It's all right here, man, in the script. What don't you say? Oh, mm, hijack. Your script. I couldn't put it down. Nice. And you totally rocked the idea of the hero's journey. Joseph Campbell, sir, owes it all to you. All right, Campbell said it first, but I said it better. <laughs> all right, all right. So you really think that Hijack is the first perfect script that couldn't be better? Well, yeah, which is why you're going to take it to your best bud, Stephen Worthy, to direct? Well, I think it could be better. What? My your script? script? That script could be what? It could be better. How much better? A lot better. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. Jack, come on, let's at least remain professional. Why? I'm not in the business yet and you're no longer in it. Really? Want some more cola? No, why don't you just give me a minute to get my zen back, kid? You know, I'm not just some washed up Hollywood screenwriter. I'm an expatriate. I fled the bullshit. That, uh, caffeine treating you right? Well, like the poet said, liquor's quicker. You know, Teach, I honestly thought a reason you beat a pat to my doorstep this morning is because, you know, you thought my script was that good. You just had to tell me. No. It's a misfire. It's an air wreck. It's a total air disaster. The worst that the FAA has seen in years. I mean, the fact that this is the best that you could do out of a 10-week session, frankly, I'm a little disappointed. So what do you suggest? Throw it away? No. No. I think I'd hold on to it. I mean, look, let's face it. The script doesn't work as written, but there's something there. It's got something. Yeah, it's got a spark, a tiny spark. Yeah, but the spark's tiny. I could barely see but it. But you saw it. Yeah, I saw it. It needs a lot of work. Probably right. Just been fooling myself thinking I could write a killer screenplay without a no jack. Did you really think that Al Pacino hasn't done a film since The Godfather? How am I gonna find a rewriter, a co-writer or something? I don't know, you can always run an ad. No, I don't think so. Well, I had a thought. What's that, Teach? Well, you know, tonight's the last class. Class is over, and I don't have a lot of free time, but if you think that you might like us to work on your script together, I could hang with you. Oh, Mr. Day, I could never ask a Hollywood pro like yourself to, you know, work on my blowy piece of shit script. No, 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 here's my notes on that. It's, it's not a piece of shit script. Thought it was. Well, I mean, look, I've done rewrites on worse. Number two, I've played the Hollywood game, and right now, I ain't playing. <laughs> You're cool, Mr. Day. <laughs> Thanks. So, who else has seen it? 
Uh, seen what? <laughs> Your script. Nobody. Well, I've seen it. Well, I mean, yeah. Look, a literary property, a script, it has value. It's like uh, any acreage that has gold on it. You ever seen a film called The Treasure of Sierra Madre? <laughs> of course you have it. Right. Who else has seen it? Uh, has seen the film? Has seen the script. Nobody, man. You sure? 1,000%. Sailor's seen it. She thought it was wicked awesome. I think that's why she fucked me last night. Well, you know the way she talks. Yeah. I can't wait to hear her opinions when she gets back from her audition. Yeah, she didn't really tell me where she was going, but she was totally stoked about it. Anyone else? Nobody thanks to you. You let the class use the school's copy machine. So there's no copy plays dude trying to claim an Oscar for best screenplay. Anybody else? Maybe some minimum wage desk jockey. What I'm trying to say is I registered the script in town. Ah. Good thinking. No security breach, Mr. Bauer. Ah, oh, so the man does watch television. Sometimes you just gotta unwind from spinning the sign. You know, I've seen you out there on the street corners of Manhattan. Yeah? Did you honk? Well, I thought to myself, here's this uh, broken human compass. You're totally the writer, dude. You know, he shoots his mouth off in class. He's gonna write the great American screenplay. Well, here we are. We're waiting. All right. Well, now that the wait is over, I blew it. But the good news is, the Calvary's here. And they're gonna help me rewrite it for absolutely nothing. 50%. 50% <laughs> of what? <laughs> uh, your script. All rights. All ancillary rights. This isn't a favor? <laughs> Favor's gonna get you killed faster than a bullet. Pacino. I don't remember that line in The Godfather. Well, 50% and a shared credit. How about more cola? I'm fine with the half share and the credit. But I think I'll have some. You know what I think? No. I think it's pretty strange how you say my script is a blowy piece of shit. But why do you want it so bad, Teach? Hmm. Well, in Hollywood, uh, we call that negotiating. Uh-huh. I'll tell you what I think. I think this is the best script you've ever read. And I think you'd do anything to get your mitts on it. And if I don't go with this 50-50 idea of yours, you're gonna totally fucking cockblock my script and never take it to Stephen Worthy. It is the best script I've ever read. Okay. We can't keep Worthy waiting. No. Not Worthy. Or in the event of force majeure, that's end of the world stuff. All bets are off. Remember Tom Cruise and a few good men? A man couldn't think without his back. Hey, why you gotta use all those complicated words for? And what does injunctive relief mean? Because we can't just sit here making woodpecker sounds. I'm writing a formal contract. Just don't fuck me, man. I, mean, I wrote the script, I already did, you know? What do you call it in class? Uh, the heavy lifting. Is Stephen Worthy as smart as you? He's definitely gotta be. I mean, he's way successful. Oops. Sorry, boss. You know, you probably didn't know this, but the night that the Manson family committed all those murders up there in the Hollywood Hills, they had a list. They never got that far, but Stephen's house is number three on that list. Cool. Cool? Cool. I don't know how that's cool. <laughs> But it shows you that even then, back in the day... Bobby Day! Oh my god, are we having a problem here? No, 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 carry on. Carry on. So... Oh god. Baseball bat. 
Tom Cruise, few good men. Since when do you know anything about movies? Do you really think a script like Hijack was written by a total savant? I've been playing you, man. Pretend not to know nothing. The ultimate natural. Yeah, bullshit. I'm going to Hollywood, man. You make the sale. For your 10%. Oh, really? What happened to 50%? What's the matter? You want to see conjunctive relief? I just thought we had a deal. I mean, you know? Steven's a phone call away. I've got him in my cell. You know, I love the way you guys talk. I mean, like he's actually miniaturized or something. Okay, we're all just a bunch of Hollywood cliches. So, do we have a deal or don't we? At 10%. Okay, fine, 15. No, 10. Listen, I'm young, I need the dough and plenty of it. Fred C. Dubs, Treasure Sierra Madre. Oh God, you know what, I, I can't take it anymore. I have a headache. Got writer's block. I'm gonna go have a smoke. We'll hammer out the rest of this deal when I get back. Great, uh, I'll, I'll come with you. Now, let me grab my coat. Yeah, you can see all Manhattan up there. Especially the Empire State Building. You ever been? No, I haven't. Been here a year and barely scratched the surface. Yeah, me either. I can never go up there. I'm scared of heights. Do you really know Stephen Worthy? Yes, I do. You're totally a fucking legend, man. What can I say? You know, I thought you were totally the uh, LA guy. Never really been out here. Yeah, it's quite the culture shock. I guess you've always wanted to teach evening classes? I don't know, New York seemed to be a good place to teach a writing class. Yeah. You know, to be honest with you, I'm not really the uh, East Coast kind of guy. Really? That's hard to believe, John F. Kennedy, Ari Amar. That was my parents, man. Lee Harvey Oswald would have suited me fine. I guess we could always use that as your uh, pen name. Just have to change the title page. No, I'm good. So tell me, what's it like to be famous? I mean, real famous. Wouldn't I like to know? Uh, hey, maybe we'll learn together. I'm still liking that 50-50 deal. All right, so I read your book. Come on, tell me, what's your secret? My secret? Well, my secret, yeah. No, maybe it's taking things to the edge. Bobby, get down, man, that's real dangerous. No, it's not. That's dangerous. Come on, man, just get down, come on. Okay. Get down, Bobby, All right, come I'll on, come man. Down. I'll come down. Give me your hand. Whoa, no, oh, come on up. Oh. Oh. This is it, this is it. This oh. is it. Wait, come on, on Bobby. Bobby, Bobby come, come on, on, stop. I'm here with you. Bobby, stop it. Good, you oh. Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you fucking nuts? Have you lost it? You need to look. That's what I'm talking about, Shit. living on the edge, son. That's what it takes. That's what it takes to write something really great. Come on, it's the adrenaline rush. Do you feel it? Live on the edge. I'm just playing around. I'm just playing around, man. Come on back.
There it is. Next. What were you expecting? Snowhurst Castle. No. No. No, it's not. You got six houses. Palm Beach, Santa Barbara, La Quinta, Sri Ooh. Lanka. All right. Yeah. It's just gonna be a simple meet and greet, all right? Okay. I'll be back in about 15 minutes. <laughs> I'll just wait in the car. That'll be fun. I want to meet him. <laughs> Stephen Worthy? Hell yes! <laughs> Whatever you do, just act casual, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Stephen. <laughs> no, no. That's not Stephen. Hi. Uh, I'm Bobby. Bobby Blue Day. I have an appointment, Stephen? You have an appointment. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> and you are? Mr. Worthy's personal secretary, Brad Bradley. So, uh, may we come in? I have an envelope. Yeah, I can see that. It's a script treatment. Steve. Man, I don't want any trouble. I know you don't. I was just on the phone with him a few minutes ago. Hey, Steven! He's not here. No, I was on the phone with him, and I was pitching him this fucking story, and he loved it. He was saying, oh, Bobby, Bobby, you never quit. Get your little butt down here, and we'll have a powwow. There's just no other way to say it. He's not here now. He had to leave. OK. OK, I guess he's at the beach. Uh, what do you say? Uh, you want to go down to Santa Barbara? Yeah, sure. Okay. It is, is that where he is? I'm not at liberty to say. <laughs> okay, Brad. You know, I have him in my phone. Never mind. Fucking asshole. Is there any way you could do me a favor and just help us out? Please. Here's what I can do, Bobby. I gather you and Steven are old compadres. Let me have the envelope. I promise you. I'll make sure he sees the treatment as soon as he comes home. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Bye, Brad. You have a good one. Hey, Brad. Mind coming out here a minute? Say what? What do you say? Let's see what you got. Let's have a little uh, mixer in the driveway for the cheap seats. I'll tell you what. If I can put you down, I get to go inside the house. What do you say? Aren't you a screenwriter? You gonna give him my treatment? He'll get it. Well, of course, uh... I'd much rather give it to him myself. It's been kicking my ass. Guess now it's my turn. trying to choke me up. He's just gonna go to sleep for a few minutes. I won't hurt your boyfriend. No, oh, this fucking town. Did you give up? It's like your boss said, personal secretary. I never give up. Brad, please, please don't. I'll be back in a few minutes.
Yeah, everything's fine. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? It's perfect. Yeah, I'll see you soon. I love you too. Bye. Was that Sailor? Did she get the part? What the fuck happened up there? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sorry about that. Uh, can we just put it behind us? Sorry? You fucking tried to kill me. Look, uh, that's why I stopped drinking. I can be an asshole. Come on, don't take me so seriously. Bobby, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I'm gonna finish up this contract, then you can get out of here. It's the bottom latch. You don't know how to use a typewriter, do you? It was jammed. You know, Jack, Tell me, what's your secret to writing? Hmm. Wow, so what are you gonna do with uh, your half of our Hollywood payday? I've got a better question for you. What makes you think that you can try throwing one of your screenwriting students off a rooftop and he'll still do business with you? Mm. Two words, I guess. Stephen Worthy, he produced one of my films. Contract's done. Well, it will be as soon as you sign it. If I sign this piece of paper, me and you, we're partners, right? And Stephen Worthy's really gonna read the script? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You and me, we're not so different. I think I would do whatever it took to get that script too. Mm -hmm. And he'll read it. Oh yeah. When? Well, I can't say exactly when he'll read it. You can't? I'm not him. Yeah, I know that, but you say he's gonna read it because he sends you Christmas cards? I uh, know he's gonna read it because I wrote it. You didn't write it. Did you? Remember, Jack. My name's gonna be on that title, too. Hi, Jack. By JFK, Ari Amar, and Bobby Blue Day. You know, I'm amazed that you don't want your name on it first. Oh, well, yeah, I had that argument in my head, but I thought I'd save us both a little bit of trouble. Wait a minute. Stephen Worthy knows you, not me. I'm not the one getting his reindeer cards, you are. So I think he's gonna be more receptive if he sees your name on it first. Probably would. Wait a minute. You really do believe in this thing, right? I mean, because in class you said every script needs a rewrite. Hmm, yeah. Whew. This one doesn't need one. So you couldn't even make it a little bit better? Not this one. Where'd you get it? The idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the idea. Where did a kid like you come up with such a profoundly symphonic script like that? Um, well, I saw the, the cover page staring up at me and it spoke to me, you know, hijack. <laughs> Kudos on writing the title page and the rest of it. Like you Told us in class. Never show your hand. 
Who wrote it, Jack? I wrote it. Like you used to be able to. Let's not fuck it up. Hijacked by Bobby Blue Day and John F. Kennedy Ariamar. Unless you prefer by Bobby Blue Day and Lee Harvey Oswald. Now, who wrote it? I did. I've read everything you've ever written, and it doesn't belong to you. Now, who wrote it? Uh huh. A guy. What guy? What guy? Where'd you find him? Where? Online. Uh -huh. And what happened? Finally, put a face to the name. I hope my face is all right. <laughs> Guess what I have to do for now. Oh, indeed, sir. And um, you're the producer. Yeah. Thanks for uh, driving here in such short notice, Clive. Oh, my pleasure. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> and you find your way all right? Oh, it was um quite a quite a journey, quite a journey. I took a wrong turn. I wound up in a place called Far Rockaway. Have you been there? It's quite nice, yeah. Kind of reminded me of um, East London. Oh yeah, that's that's right. When you replied to my ad, you mentioned uh, you're a native New Yorker. Me? <laughs> Christ no, mate. I'm from the British Isles. <laughs> Everything must be real different, especially the entertainment business. Yeah. I don't know a soul in this town. I can't exactly say I know the rules at all yet. <laughs> I feel for you. Oh, do you? Oh, bless you, Mr. Um, Ruby. Have I got your name? Yeah, that's right. I'm Jack Ruby. Can I get you some new drink? Some cream? Oh no, I like to taste my coffee. <laughs> About hijack. Oh, he's not really much to say. I wrote hijack and then I wrote it from the heart. It's not too bad, is it? I'm curious. Um, the copy you mailed me it didn't look like it came off a laser printer or any other kind of printer. You are absolutely spot on. My first week in Jersey City, someone broke in and it'd be laptop. <laughs> I wrote Hijack and I know Remington. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's unbelievable. I sent you my only copy. Have you bought it with you? I wanted to hold on to it. And the reason why is because we're interested, Clive. Very interested. Oh. So, um, I can't have it back and, uh, put it in my satchel. <laughs> I'll pay for a copy. It's safe and sound in our offices in Manhattan. Oh, lovely, lovely. But, um, you're awfully young to be a producer. Well, pardon me for that observation. Salberg ran Universal at 20. True, true. I never heard that. But true. But you look all of like 15. Maybe the reincarnation of Thalberg's kid brother. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I like how you think, Mr. Ruby. You're very creative. <laughs> That's what it takes in this business. Creativity. Oh, my word. Isn't that the truth? Um, do you really think my script's got potential? It's not too bad, is it? It is all right. You think it's rubbish? Please, that has been my favorite. Has anyone seen it? The movie? Have you shot it yet? You'd have to sign a contract first. I'm speaking about the script, Clive. Has anyone else seen the script? Oh, I didn't send it back to East London. 
This time it's come home. No girlfriend, no teacher. Oh no, nothing like that. I live in Jersey City. <laughs> Where you don't know a soul. I did have this great desire to share it. So I went online. Do you think I did right? You met me. <laughs> and I'm so grateful. So eternally grateful. Um, do you think I could have my script back? Well, I'll just shoot the movie. What about registration? Oh, what about it? Oh, yes. Um, it's all in order. Um, I've got a clean driving record. I just parked over there. Perfect. The script registration. We handle it. Oh, lovely, lovely. I mean, perhaps you can tell me. Besides, um, registering my script at the DMV, would I have to copyright it? Talk to the government or, um, would a policeman know? That's a brilliant question. And the answer is, you can only copyright books. If you copyright a script, they can slap with a big fine. You know, for a waste of time. Goodness me. I am. Um, I'm glad I didn't do such a thing. Me too. You must excuse me. I must go to Lou. work, you see. She was looking for a person to write her a script that died on the operating table. That sort of long tunnel, white light, and all that bollocks, yeah. <laughs> I was terrible, really. I said to her, I flat down for 15 minutes, and while I was dead, I looked down from the ceiling. But then, they revived me, just like the actor was looking for. <laughs> then she says to me, she says, if I flat down for 15 minutes, I'd be a bleeding vegetable. <laughs> I lied, you see. Just because I wanted to work, you see. It don't pay to lie. I didn't get it. It was all total and utter bollocks. Flat like 15 minutes. <laughs> I was terrible. <laughs> I barely touched your coffee. Oh. Clive, can I ask you a question? Can you uh, give me a ride to the bus stop? A producer attacks the bus. I hope you're not a serial killer. <laughs>
Hello? You break it, you own it. Stay put. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's been running all day. I just needed a place to... Man on the go. I guess. Why are they running? What's that? I said, why are you running? I, I just needed to get to a store before it all closed. Looks like you got here. Joey. Joey the junk man. This is my shop. I sell junk. So, kid. Let me see if I can suss out the situation. You're running around like a speed demon all over town, trying to find this thing that you are trying to find. Because it ain't easy to find this thing. It could be that it's rare and a collectible, or it could be it don't exist. Oh, it exists. How do you know? I know. <laughs> it did refreshing to meet a young person with true faith. Uh, it depends. You got a typewriter? What type? Old type. Do I have any old typewriters? Hey, kid. Are you a writer or are you planning on writing something? Yes, I already did. I mean, I am. Oh, you wrote something, and now you need a typewriter. Isn't that kind of ass backwards, Sonny? I handwrite first. That's how the pros do it. Oh, it's a shame. Never heard that. So, you are a writer, and you've written a book. No, I've written a script. Right. And now you need a typewriter. But it has to be an old typewriter. Any type of old typewriter? A Remington. A Remington. The old war horse. Mm -hmm. But just not anyone, sir. Joey. Joey the junk man. I, I checked it. I need one that was manufactured between uh, 1933 and 1941. Hmm. I see. You are that type of writer. A pain in the ass of a writer. What's it to you what here they made a fucking thing? Sir. Junk man. I, um, I read a book, you know, how to make a perfect script better. And in that book it told me that I needed to use that kind of typewriter. <laughs> what, you don't believe me? You can do better than that, kid. Joey? Mr. J? You know, since I like you and stuff, I'm going to give you some insider information. You know, my screenplay, it's about this guy who kills another guy to get a script. And, uh, you know, he needs to find an old typewriter to match that screenplay so he could put his name on it. Now, that is pretty fucking clever. Yeah. It's called Hijack. Good title. Yeah, just don't tell anybody. What am I gonna tell? What is it? Last time I saw it. Oh, there it is. That's the beauty. <laughs> it's a Remington. Or rather, a Remington Rand. WW2 Vintage, World War II. They call it the Quiet Model. Can I have a piece of paper, please? Sure. Here. Yeah. Take it for a spin. Thanks. Oh, excuse me. I'll buy it. You gotta love a happy customer. I know one guy that's gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Come into my office. Wait, wait, wait a second. We didn't even talk about prices or costs or anything. I mean, how much is that? 
You tell me, Clive. It's not my name. Oh, sorry, I just saw it on the script. I have eyes like I don't know what animal. Yeah, that's my co-writer, I'm Lee. Okay, Lee, the sawbuck. The hell's a sawbuck? Ten bucks. Just ten dollars? I'm supporting the arts. Besides, confidentially, this ain't my main gig. It's not? No, it's not. Don't tell it one, Lee. I'm a made man. I've done hits from Buenos Aires to fucking Prague. And now, I'm enjoying my golden years. Leaving a life of leisure. Like you will, after that book of yours. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Good doing business with you. Have a good day, Lee. Have a good week. It's not your fault, kid. You just took a wrong turn. Come on, kid. I don't have all night. You ready? Just give it to me. Here you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good job. Good job, kid. Wait, wait a minute, that's it? Yep, that's it. Jesus, what do you got in here, a bowling ball? Yeah, that's right, it's a bowling ball. You ever hear a Rocky? I'm the bowling of Rocky, so can I just please have it back, sir? I'm a pillhead, I'm a skier, I'm a junkie. You got some nerve to be calling me sir. What do you mean? I'm just trying to show you some respect. You're not acknowledging the true hierarchy of the situation here, right? I'm at the bottom, I'm trying to mug you, you moron. Get it? Yeah, I, I get it. Look, come on, can I just please have my bowling ball back, sir? I'll cut you. So what's in the case? Typewriter. What am I gonna do with a typewriter? Nothing. It's worthless to you, so can I please have it back? Come on, man. You're really gonna kill me over a typewriter? I mean, come on. Give me the envelope. What do you mean? I mean, give me the envelope. <laughs> You're stoned, man. You ready to die for this? A little reckless for a stack of papers. What do you think? Not as reckless as stabbing needles in my arm. 
Oh, well, thanks for the health tip, asshole. But I never touch needles. So what's in this? Hijack. Well, that about sums it up, doesn't it? By Clive Mimsby. Is that you? Yeah. You wrote this? It's a blowy piece of shit script. I don't even know why I carry it around. Listen, I'll pay you for the typewriter. I just mugged your ass. Now you want to buy it back for me? I like that. Listen, I'll give you ten dollars. You can buy some smack and a couple dirty needles, huh? First of all, I don't like your condescending attitude. Second of all, I told you, I don't do needles. So, how much you pay for the typewriter? I paid 50. Well, come on, man, just give me a bargain here. I mean, you're already basically ripping me off, and yeah, plus, 10's all I got in my wallet. Give me a wallet. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Give me a wallet. It's not a negotiation. Two hundred. Nice. I'll take that. And I'll take the typewriter. Good job, kid. Thanks. Oh, come on, man. I mean, I... I... You just took two hundred dollars. Can I just have it back, please? You know what? I might just give you a typewriter back. If you give me those shoes. Are you serious? Take them off. I hope I never run into a shyster like you again. Bobby Blue Day would not look kindly on this. Who the fuck is Bobby Blue Day? He's my brother. You know what he does for a living? He's a bounty hunter. And they're making a reality show on him right now. You're so full of shit, kid. I think I might just have to look at that script of yours. Did you really write this? Yeah. You know what, kid? Just, just take your damn script and get out of here. What? You want it in writing? Just take it. Ah! Shit! Ah! Oh, are you okay? I'm bleeding! I'm so bleeding! What? I'm a hemophiliac! What? I'm a bleeder! Wait, kid! Wait! I need your help! You have to come back! Come back, kid! I need your help! Stop! I need your help! Come back! Come back, kid! No! Kid, I need your help!
I left them behind the steering wheel, sleeping like a baby. That was probably the hardest walk of my life. And that is how I got it. Along with a vintage Remington typewriter of a model that matched the screenplay hijack. Uh, <laughs> wow, imagine that. Teach? Sailor's gonna be here soon. Don't you just wanna go so we can figure it out tomorrow? No. No, you're gonna sign it. We're gonna figure it out right now. I can't. <laughs> Why not? I mean, what is it? You don't own it? You stole the fucking script. I can't. I wrote day and night, but nothing came. I may not have written Hijack, but I worked my ass off to get it. It's mine. And aren't you gonna tell me all I gotta do to write a slick script is take your course? I've done it. I took your course. And I've been taken. Ah, I see. So what you did to the writer is teacher's fault. Hmm. In a way. Oh, I ought to shoot you right now. Maybe so. Oh, God, you've really complicated things. I walked through that door today and I figured that you'd written Hijack. <laughs> you know, they really ought to pull my credentials as a teacher. I don't even know what I was fucking thinking. You didn't, did you? All part of the hero's journey. All part of the fact that I'm looking at some serious choices here, aren't I? Whoa, whoa, Teach, who, who you calling? Would you just relax? Checking the time. When did Sailor say she's getting back here? I don't remember. In fact, what about class tonight? <sighs> My God. Class is over. Don't you get it? You're on borrowed time here. Anybody that's seen you on the street corner spinning your little fucking sign would say, hey, this guy's long overdue. It's true. But I don't want to die, Bobby. And I know you don't want to hurt Sailor. Just sign it. Would somebody like to help me? Callback. You gotta love it. I mean, I think I live for callbacks. Even when I don't ultimately get it, you know? The job. Well, who doesn't dig up hope? But what happened today, Jack? Bobby, I never saw it coming. Okay, I go in. Read again. Not just for the casting guys. This go around, the producers are there too. I look up for my sides. They love me. What can I tell you? This whole project, I mean, they've definitely kept it on the low-low, and I totally need to know even then they won't tell you basis. I mean, nobody's seen the full script. In Hollywood, that's how they do it. Anyways, the part that comes next, Jackie, I told you on the phone. Bobby, this will blow you away. I've got the role. Just one last hoop to jump through, you know, but fine. I'm down for whatever. That's when the exec producer walks over to me, lays his hand on my shoulder and says, smooth as silk. Sailor, we'd like you to talk with the director. 
I'm like, do you want to set something up for next week? The dude hands me the phone. That's how they do it. I think he's got the director on speed dial or something. He puts the phone right up to my ear and a voice says to me, Sailor, it's Stephen Worthy. I mean, he and I talk and we talk and we're totally vibing. And I told him about Hijack. So, you know, first I said, Stephen, this whole script you want to write, you know, your sides, the three pages, they're awesome. But may I pitch you something? He says to me, are you alone? I think I took the phone in a closet or something. He listened very quietly. He asked very few questions. He said, this is the best pitch he's ever heard. And when I was done, he told me to get it registered and not to tell a soul. Did it sound like he was going to blab on his end? Oh, no way. He just asked me to send it. He gave me this address on some hoity-toity street. Don't worry. I got it. It's in Benedict Canyon. I know exactly where it is. Oh, <laughs> that's what I did today. You don't have to do this, Mr. Day. We're just two little slackers and we don't mean nothing. We'll go along with anything you say. Wait, what the hell's going on? Well, uh, if you're interested to know, he didn't write the script. What are you talking about? Hijack by JFK Ari Mayer. It's right there on the title page. Why don't you tell her, uh, class all-star? Where'd you get the script? Here, boss. 50 hey, 50. Hey, 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 you know what? Back off. You just back off. You got it? Since Sailor phoned you today, you knew you didn't need me anymore. Oh, come on. And what do you want me to do? You still want me to take it to him? Of course. Oh, really? You don't want it all? I signed the contract, didn't I? Oh, really? Yeah. Even if you meant it, which you don't, it wouldn't hold up because Worthy didn't get to where he is because he's a stupid guy. I don't need you, and you don't need me anymore. Wait! Bobby, talk to me. I need you. Would you please stay out of this? Talk to me. Tell me what's going on. What are you doing? What I never should have stopped doing. I never should have let you push me away. What, are you crazy? Bobby, don't do this. Listen to her, Mr. Day. You know what? I should just put you to sleep right now. Bobby. I love you. Shut up! Has he told you, Jack? Has he told you about his script? Remember, Jack? In class, Bobby said he would show us how it's done. If we were writing, he was going to write a new script himself. And Bobby, you did, baby. It was a beautiful script. Beautiful. It was better than Hijack. You're a fucking liar. It was better than Hijack. It was better than anything. It was not. All right? It was a piece of shit. Do you understand? I threw it in the fire. No. It wasn't. I think what you need, Mr. Day, is a nice big glass of cola. Uh, why don't I have Sailor go out and grab you some, huh? Bobby! I think it's time you jump off the wagon and have a story. Pick her up.
know she was only with you because of hijack. You said it yourself. Bobby. You might have slept with her first. But I loved her. Bullshit. It sounds crazy, but I did. And she loved me. Maybe she just wanted some back end points. I know what you think. I don't even have one sincere bone in my body. Now there. That's the truth. If you cared so much about her, then why'd you drop her? I don't know. But if I knew the two of you were gonna end up together. Why do you gotta say that, Bobby? You don't know anything about me, boss. You don't know where I come from. And my... In my family, failure wasn't a fucking option. The road, the road I traveled, what the hell do you know about it? No. <laughs> we never did have our parent-teacher conference, did we? You wanna write a script? My folks? That's a whole different story. Are we working on our innocent by reason of insanity plea for our court cases? Hmm? I'm just saying. I had it tough. I'm not looking for sympathy. You sure have a way of dodging the bullet. You're one to talk. I'm not the one with the gun. You know? Every girl I ever wanted always rejected me. Except Sailor. Because of a script. <laughs> you know, what was the first thing I thought when she spoke to Stephen Worthy? I'm a millionaire. I thought I'd put Sailor's name on the script first. <laughs> Instead of Bobby's. And that's what I said to myself. But you just keep on thinking that way. I bet if I was dead and it was just you and me, you wouldn't do that for her. I mean, you and her. It is just you and me. Get a towel. I need an alibi. You know, Teach, I think you're looking at this thing uh, the wrong way. Yeah, really? How's that? Well, you got this great opportunity sitting right here in your lap. You know, me and you, we could still be partners. See that happening. Can't we just talk? You know, this reminds me so much of the times I was just knocking on office doors and they took from me what now belongs to them. And they told me that they uh, would have and should have and could have, but they didn't. What if I was by your side? Where are you going with this? I mean, I'm good. You know, you know I'm good. Not good in like a conventional sense, not like a good person, but come on, man. Give me some credit. You had your credit and your 50%, but that negotiation has sailed. Look, 
Just look at the awesome script I got for you. In just weeks. Hijack. And, and I could find other scripts for you too, man. I mean, if you give me the time, I'm a gold mine. Well, I'm back to the treasure of Sierra Madre vibe, huh? There's money to be made, Bobby D. And how much makes it all worth it to you? You're thinking small. You're thinking real small. <sighs> We can't be partners. What about Hijack? Forget Hijack. It's gonna get made with us or without us. Do you understand? The script is contagious. I mean, everybody just wants to be a part of it at any cost. It's, it's killing everyone it touches. We have no deal. We, we, gotta, we gotta split up. We gotta go separate ways. Uh, I'm gonna go to Canada, and you, you need to go to Mexico. No, no, you'll never make it that far. You take a train north, I'm gonna head south. But what about the script? What are we gonna do with it? It's cursed. Just throw it in the fire. I'm gonna have a drink. Fuck Canada. I'm going to Hollywood. Where to, boss? JFK. Way flying. Los Angeles. Hello, Bobby. Sam Duncan. District Attorney of Los Angeles County. Smoke? Uh, maybe for later. Sure would like to wet my whistle before I start talking. Yeah, of course. I've been near calling a cup. Yes, sir. All right.
Thank you. You're very kind. Just the day. Why somebody fucked up real bad, didn't they? I'm under obligation to tell you that you're entitled to have an attorney present. I don't know. I do my own legal. What do you got? It's uh, <laughs> Pacino. Heat. Hmm. What we got, Bobby, is the wrongful death of Sally Stewart, one count of voluntary manslaughter. Or uh, woman slaughter, so to speak. What we got, Bobby, is the death of John F. Kennedy, Aria Mare, one count first degree murder. And finally, in my own backyard, so to speak, what we got is the death of Brad Bradley. One count, first degree murder. Well, it sounds like you're having a really tough week. What if I told you I can make all your troubles go away? Hmm. Now, how would you make that happen? Well, let us just say that there are um, special interests who have taken a special interest in this case. And what I have to say, we'll never leave this room. I'm empowered to offer you a deal. Really? No death by lethal injection. No jail time. The only time served will be six months of community service. And uh, what would that be like? Ah, picking up trash along the highway, maybe working with disadvantaged teens. <sighs> I don't get along with teens. Yeah, well, I'll see what I can do. So, if I'm understanding correctly and you're not fucking with my head, what does that mean for uh, Bobby Blue Day? Your signature on this contract. Extraordinary offer of clemency, granting an interest in your screenplay, Hijack. Hi, Jack. Wow. That's awesome. How much interest? 100% all rights. Oh, I was really looking to hang on to the ancillary rights. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. That's the deal, Bobby. Hmm. And what do I get? You get to walk out that door. Have you read Hijack? <laughs> I'm a DA. PA? <laughs> Funny. A DA. Yeah, somebody's in the office is reading it tonight. They're gonna do coverage. Well, when they read the coverage, it's gonna blow your fucking mind. You sign this, and you're a free man. Bobby, you are not gonna get a better deal. And this is seriously tweaking the integrity of the DA's office, but there it is. And I walk. Shall we wrap this up? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. This one question. What's that? Where is he? With who? <laughs> you know. Uh, you lost me, Mr. Day. What do you keep staring at, dumbass? Pardon? Steven! There's uh, nobody there. Well, Steven wants me to sign it so bad, why doesn't he come out here and ask me himself? I mean, dude! It's Blue Day! Steven, what are you saying? I mean, the kid stole a great script, but I'm the one that's the hound. I'm the one that said, let's get her done! You know what I mean? Why don't you come out from behind there and give me a handshake deal? You reclusive little prick. Who the fuck do you think you are? What are you doing here? Huh? I know you're back there. Oh, uh, yeah. But I know you're there. I can see you. I can see you back there. Where Welcome. Come on. Yes, sir. Just do a shake hands deal. Let's get this thing done. Sign. I'm not fucking signing that. Who the fuck do you think you are?